Right. Um, so New Zealand prides itself on being clean and green, but are we really? Um, our current sources of energy are, for one, not sufficiently providing for the growing demand, but more importantly, a lot of them have harmful greenhouse emissions which contribute to global warming. In the long run, they're all unsustainable. Thankfully, there is a solution to the New Zealand's imminent energy crisis, which will also help New Zealand's economy flourish. That solution is thorium energy. First of all, what exactly is the problem with uh, New Zealand's current energy source sources? Hydro and wind energy rely on elements of nature and thus at times are unreliable. And if dams are set up to manually generate the force of rain, surrounding ecosystems can be destroyed and houses can be relocated. Now what about gas and coal and geothermal? Though there is incentive in the mobility and versatility of these energy sources, they're fossil fuels, which must be burnt for the energy um, and they emit carbon dioxide in this process. This significantly contributes to global warming and it makes fossil fuels become increasingly discouraged. And for these reasons, our current energy, energy sources are implausible in the long run. And if New Zealand hopes to continue its growth and provide for its, and provide for its energy intensive agricultural industry, we must accomplish the implementation of liquid thorium nuclear reactors. Nuclear reactors, how do they work? So a conventional nuclear reactor exploits events called nuclear fission, which is when um, an atom's nucleus, or its heart, if you will, is unstable, has lots of energy, and splits into several other different atoms. A material that can undergo nuclear fission is known as a fissile material, and in nuclear, current nuclear reactors, the most commonly used fissile fuel is uranium. And when a neutron collides with a radioactive nucleus of, say, uranium, sorry, and causes it to fission, that's what's known as a nuclear reaction. And the products formed after a nuclear reaction can then continue to collide with any uranium remaining, um, causing subsequent reactions or a nuclear chain reaction. And this is what makes nuclear so useful. These chain reactions produce an enormous amount of energy, of heat energy, which we can then harness by transferring this heat um, to electrical generators such as steam turbines. And I can't stress enough, the amount of electricity generated with this method is enormous. Like, to put it into perspective, uranium generates four million times the amount of energy that coal or even biofuel does with conventional methods. But my presentation's not on uranium nuclear reactors because they aren't without their flaws. What are these flaws and are they fixable? One concern is the potential for uranium to be weaponized, um, considering its radioactive attributes. The New Zealand Nuclear Free Zone Act prohibits nuclear arms in New Zealand, but not nuclear power plants. Um, and someone having access to the latter provides them with the resources to make nuclear arms. And most prominently, there's the risk of oh yeah. And most prominently, there's the risk of nuclear meltdown. Theoretically, if uncontrolled, a nuclear chain reaction will be self-sustaining. Um, with the products constantly colliding with uranium-235 isotopes and causing them to fission, creating more products which keep colliding and keep colliding and so on. Because of this, conventional nuclear reactors have safety measures to regulate the rate at which nuclear reactions take place. But if these measures fail and the structures overheat, then insane power levels can be reached which would result in atomic explosions like Fukushima and Chernobyl, pictured in that picture. However, Nuclear is obviously the most sufficiently providing energy source that we need for the growing demand in New Zealand. But with these problems hindering its development, there'd need to be a better solution. And that solution is thorium energy. Thorium trumps uranium in every way and will effectively bring about a far more sustainable future for New Zealand. Firstly, it's physically impossible for thorium to have nuclear meltdowns or atomic explosions, because unlike uranium, it's completely stable in its natural form like it's found completely stable. This eliminates all the problems that New Zealand currently has with nuclear energy. The way thorium-232 is used is by firing at it with a beam of neutrons until the atoms absorb a neutron and turns into uranium-233. This isotope is unstable and fissions straight away. Um, but as long as the neutron beam is not firing, thorium remains as thorium. And it's for this stability that thorium is also not weaponizable. Thorium is also four times more abundant on this planet than, than uranium. And considering its super efficiency, that is 1% of thorium going to waste compared to, in comparison to uranium's abysmal 95.6%, even the Earth's continental crust would be worth mining for its thorium content. 
there is enough thorium on the planet to power the lives of the entire population of Earth for the next one million years. But besides the electrical wealth that thorium grants New Zealand, having such a wealth of electricity also has positive implications for all fields of well-being. So let's also look at some examples of how thorium can benefit New Zealand economically, socially, and environmentally. Automated farming has been around for several years, and it provides a much greater efficiency in various farming labors. When automated, farms can also be set up in more places. The only reason that automated farming hasn't taken off is the lack of the necessary electricity to power these systems. But with thorium energy, we can implement this and likely see huge growth in New Zealand's economy. Socially, our country's reputation on a global scale would be enhanced. Countries that have actually taken interest in thorium energy currently are among superpowers like China and India. And if we were to begin research as well, we'd establish ourselves amongst them at the forefront of nuclear technology. Furthermore, thorium's low emission of waste would uphold our clean and green image and its unweaponizable quality would promote us as a peaceful nation. Environmentally, the amount of greenhouse gases we emit into the atmosphere would grow smaller. The abundance of electricity would inevitably, inevitably cause its price to decrease, compelling electricity companies to opt for thorium in pursuit of greater profit. As a result, our, on, our dependence on fossil fuels would gradually get smaller, lowering our impact on climate change and achieving Sir Paul Callaghan's vision for New Zealand. Now, thorium is far from the most extravagant form of energy, but no other innovation in the past has come close to the potential of thorium. And the prospect of near unlimited energy for the whole, that thorium can bring for the whole of New Zealand is a prospect that we can all be excited for. Thank you.